Today's feature is none other than biocinematics and making biocinematics. Both are the work of Stuart Jansen, and represent the first non-Blender scientific visualization I've featured on the channel, and for good reason. Stuart trains specifically in biomedical communications at the University of Toronto in its fantastic master's program, and comes from a molecular biology and bioinformatics background. He also worked jointly with the team at U of T and the Harvard Medical School as a research associate on the visualization of ongoing and active research. In my experience with the scientific visualization community, biologists, biochemists, and life scientists in general are some of the finest scientists and artists. Conveying their work is a huge part of the research process, and making it more accessible to general audiences is a challenge I've seen taken up throughout that community. Biocinematics tackles that challenge head on, but I would hardly say the scope is limited to biology. A quick visit to the main channel, Biocinematics, on YouTube shows off an exceptional collection of informative and educational videos. My favorite aspects of Stuart's work, though, is that he is presenting full features of actual current research. More than that, he also breaks down quite a lot of the research process, something that is often overlooked when we hear about the hype surrounding the latest and greatest scientific technologies or advances. This insight into the actual ways in which science is conducted is a unique spin on scientific visualization that I would love to see gain more traction, as so much of science is about the process, and in my opinion, reaching out to the next generation should include a much better sense of what it actually entails. Now, to turn the page, I'd like to move over to Stuart's other channel, Making Biocinematics. On the second channel, you can find behind-the-scenes commentary on the feature pieces from the main channel, as well as some new tutorials. I already mentioned that Stuart is the first non-Blender user I've showcased. One of the simple realities of 3D is that there are all kinds of software to choose from. In biomedical visualization, there's a very compelling argument that Maya is the platform of choice. I personally recommend Blender because it's feature-dense, free, open-source, and that has cascading benefits that I've outlined in other videos. That being said, if you actually head over to the Biocinematics main page, and then go to the playlists, you can find Stuart's extensive tutorials on using Maya for biomedical visualization. To the best of my knowledge, these were actual lectures from courses he taught at the University of Toronto, and they are certainly worth checking out if you're interested in scientific visualization using Maya. Like many professionals, though, there isn't any pigeonholing here. Some quick hunting will also show videos using Cinema 4D and Adobe After Effects. More recently, if we return to the Making Biocinematics channel, you will find a beginner series on how to create carbon-based structures, such as nanotubes and buckyballs, using Houdini. If you're familiar with the 3D landscape, Houdini is very exciting software, and if you're familiar with programming or node-based workflows, it may be your preferred option for learning scientific visualization. Houdini itself also has an apprentice version that is free to use and to explore, though there are some drawbacks such as watermarks. There's also an indie version and an educational option that I encourage checking out. Though of course, you could just use Blender and not worry about any of that because it's free. I would like to specifically mention here that when we were discussing this community feature, Stuart was extremely considerate, and even went out of his way to highlight that he wasn't trying to compete with my tutorials on buckyballs and other carbon constructs. I, for my part, am absolutely thrilled to see other tutorial channels devoted to scientific visualization in any and every software. The obvious and impressive expertise that Stuart is bringing to the scientific visualization community, particularly on YouTube, for free, is greatly appreciated and deserves all the recognition it can get. I strongly encourage checking out and subscribing to both of Stuart's channels, Biocinematics and Making Biocinematics. You can also find him on Twitter, Instagram, his own website, and if you want to support him more directly, on Patreon. I have thoroughly enjoyed all of his content that I have seen thus far, and I'm really looking forward to everything yet to come. So, as always, thanks for coming out. Go check out Biocinematics, and until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.